guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Sorry about my squeaky chair. I need to get some WD-40 for that. But I have a lot of stuff, not really, but a fair amount to show you. And I thought I would get that taken care of. Coffee, of course. Mmm. Wait till you see my new coffee cup. A stitchy friend sent me and it has three pictures of Queen Elizabeth on it. And they're like the Funko Pop Queen Elizabeth. It's so cute. Currently, it's in the dishwasher. All right, let's get started. Um, first off, I bought one of these. So a lot of what I've been looking at is things to finish my cross stitch pattern or that I stitch up. I have a lot of that are done but aren't displayable. So I got some of the, one of these. It's the beach decor with the chalkboard. I really just want it for the metal because magnets will stick to this. And it's easy for me to hang things up. So I grabbed one of those. I have a bag over here next to me. Then I found my stores have had these, but they had them displayed better. These are the Main Street. Hi, Alex. Bye, 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 Alex. Go ahead, get down. Get down. Thank you. These are the um, removable wallpapers, but I am obsessed with this pattern right here. This green. And I'm thinking of like just framing this for my living room. And then I grabbed this one with the wood for a background for some crafting. I thought these two were fun. No way in heck would I take... Um, and try to wallpaper with at a dollar 25 per sheet but for crafting purposes i think these are going to be super fun to work with i picked up oh i found this i think we're going to call it tiava t-e-j-a-v-a -A, tiava i really enjoyed this tea it's unsweetened which is perfect for me so there's no carbohydrates no sugar and this is peach flavored and it's really good. Now, even with the flavored, I've been doing like half of a bottle of tea and half water. I like mine pretty mild. And they also had it in raspberry, but I am not a raspberry tea person. So I just grabbed four bottles. I've already used, drank one, but I grabbed four bottles of this in the peach tea. It is, like I said, unsweetened. I'm wondering where it's made. Um, it doesn't say, like I was just wondering if this was for a specific company or if this Tiava is the company. It does not say, but it is Rainforest Alliance, non-GMO verified, no sugar, no calories, no sweetener, no preservative. So it's really, I mean, for the dollar twenty-five for me to get two drinks out of, I think it's fantastic take that with me downstairs. Now, speaking of my cross stitching, I ordered some fabric and it is, um, it has some bees on it. And I, um, I'm gonna use this for the liner of it. And it's like a ticking, but it's black. And this will, I'm sorry, I was looking at something. This will match um, the bag or, or I'm going to use it for some other sewing projects. But I grabbed these two. The quality is not the same, but it's not terrible, to be honest with you. So I grabbed that. And then also I picked up, just for maybe displaying some cross stitch, these baskets, which I've had. But on this one... Um, it's for the middle, so I would hang a piece attached to this middle. This is just one of the metal baskets, and I probably would leave it this color for my kitchen, but then this can sit up on a shelf. And what I would do is put, like, the reason I bought this is to, like, attach it to this metal, probably hot glue it down, and then my cross stitch would magnet to this piece, if that makes sense. I know it's kind of... It's kind of a lot, but that's the premise behind it. I need magnetic materials. 
Now, let's see, I don't really have too much less than I thought I did. How about that? Um, I did find these in the Dollar Tree Pride. I, I'm not finding like a pride section, but as I'm walking around the stores, I'm finding things. And this is just a notebook that says love is love. And I think I will put this with the other items and give them away to some friends of mine who will be at Pride. So these are just the notebooks. These are Greenbrier. Does it say how many sheets? It does not. But it's just lined notebooks. And since I got two of everything else, I grabbed two of those as well. But those are going to be gifted. Oh, I found this in the crafty section and it's like a wind chime or it's, they're calling it a dream catcher. Um, but it's a unicorn shape and then the little feathers and there's a string so you can paint this or stain it. And then it says dream big little one. So it's like for a child's room. I think it's adorable. I will share this with somebody and they can paint it up with their little one. Oh, they had a couple, and I think they had like a unicorn body or something, but I thought that was neat. Um, and I like that they're not trying to recreate the Native American Dreamcatcher theme. Um, I found a couple frames. So they did bring these houses out. This is actually dry erase material, but I'm thinking, I just have been thinking about little cross stitches, little pieces that I can, you know, attach to things. So I grabbed this. We've all seen these before, but this is doesn't have the wallpaper. Um, but you can write on these with dry erase, hot glue, do whatever. And then I found this in the little in the framing section, and it's just a little frame of a house. And I love the back detail that it really will hold a picture well, and it will just sit. Or it has a little kickstand back here. How adorable is that? You could paint this any color you want. If you were having like a holiday get together, because I don't know about y'all, but Thanksgiving stuff is coming out already. We're not even in summer yet and Hobby Lobby has Thanksgiving. Um, but I digress. If you're having a get together or family thing, you can put like food items for a buffet or anything like that in your frame or just a little tiny picture or a little craft project. And I just think it's adorable. And I like the quality of it. I should have got more, but come on guys, how much more stuff do I need? Not a lot. I grabbed one piece of this like shaker wood. Um, do I think these are the best value? No, but when you want just one piece of something, it works. And I just wanted one piece. And it's, I mean, this is wood, very lightweight, probably pine if I had to guess. And it just says wood plank. I like the rustic side, actually. And if you stained that, it would look really nice. So I grabbed this just to do a project on. Try it out because that's what we do, right? Also, I picked up this piece. Um, Baker's going to bake. I love it. I will pop this off. And this can also be to display anything. You just get the bit, the bones. I'm looking for bones. Cut this off or pop it off. Then I can sand and paint this any color I want, cover it with wallpaper, cover it with tissue, with construction paper, with sticker paper, with the wall adhesive, anything I want to display. I could put something on it, make it my own, but I'm not going to buy a plain one of these for less than $1.25. So I grabbed it just to put in my crafty stash, which I think is exciting. Um, also my store had a whole wall of these tiles. And again, I got this to maybe craft with, I will say that this is pretty thick paper and it's very sticky. Now this is the wall, main street wall creations. This is also a removable decal. So if you really like these, you could do a backsplash and it feels like it would be washable. Um, it looks like they, on the back, they're showing it as a backsplash or even like a whole wall, but my goodness, that would be expensive. But you could use it as a background. There's a million things you can do. And I like that how thick it is and how sticky they are. So I thought that would be great. I have tried in this craft room on a wall, the opposite of you, um, some wallpaper that I got from Target that was supposed to come off 
yeah, it came off. It just fell off. It, after like a week, it just fell down. So I don't know about all that. I'm just emptying this last bag while we're talking. Um, oh, for more finishing, I got, I will show you this. And I, this is not new. I just have never purchased it because I didn't need it, but now I need it. So, and it's just the lace, but a lot of what I cross stitch, this will go in handy with just to accent it. And if you look right in that, that cube right there is all of my cross stitch finishing stuff. And this will go in with that because I use all that stuff to finish. It's called finishing. We're going to have a short one today, guys. I just picked up a new one of these for under my coffee maker. I love them. But I clean my counters with bleach sometimes, so they, they often get messy. So I just toss them away. Um, you know. And I picked up these because I thought they are super fun. These are just your paper party bags. They're calling them treat bags, but they're like a lunch sack. And I will tell you, I love, I love these in the, when I pack my lunch to go on some type of an adventure. But these are also good if you're having like a children's party. You know, they're just the regular size, probably a little smaller than a lunch sack, but that this is exactly what they are, but they're just more decorative. So I feel like they're more fun. I usually buy the seasonal ones to pack my lunch when I work at my part-time job, like Halloween time, fall, Christmas, all that. But you know, we're in the summer and I didn't see any. So I grabbed a package of these and you're gonna see these as gift bags. There's nothing wrong with putting a big red bow on here and or a blue bow if you're giving somebody like a 4th of July or Memorial Day, something of that nature. Nothing wrong with that. So I grabbed a pack of those for me. Um, I got a baby bottle cleaning brush, but this is for uh, my water bottles. I have, I, bicycle season is coming. Like I'm gonna start riding my bike this weekend. So it's supposed to be nice. And I take water bottles with me all the time of different size shapes. So I thought this was great because I can get up into the um, spigot that you pull up. I can get up in there and then down inside the bottle. I try not to leave them on my bike or my car, but sometimes I forget. And anyway, like I drink Gatorade and stuff like that. So this is nice to, um, you know, get in there and clean your bottles and for a dollar. I can use it and then when it's no longer doing its job, toss it away. Or a dollar twenty-five. I know I forget. Just a couple things. I grabbed this book. And it is Alexander Hamilton, His Life, Our History. Now I have obviously seen the musical and um this is just a book of history. And it's actually a children's written for children, but I think like middle school or younger, but there's some great historic pictures and stories of his life. And I just think it would be fascinating. And so I really would like to, um, to read that. Give me one second. I'm back. I forgot. Okay. So this book, love it in US 1295. It's a nice hardback book. I'm gonna read it and then pass it along. It should be a quick read with all the fantastic pictures. I love it. There's some maps in here. So I'm excited to check this book out and then pass it along. And then the last thing I found at my store uh, was some more of these um, socks. This is the gold toe. I think these are men's, if I'm not mistaken. But these are Native Nomad gold toe. So it says on the back, vintage inspired, modern day comfort. It's um, knit with organic cotton, arch support, cushioned comfort. And these are regularly, I can't see how much, but I think these ones were expensive because it's a two pack. But I think these are going to be fantastic with boots in the winter time. These are nice and thick and spongy cotton socks. I love them. And then these are a little thinner. 
um, but I love the polka dots on these. I will completely wear these. I'm no, no shame in my game if they're men's, women's. I don't know. It says fit shoe size 6 to 12 and a half. So I fall in there because I think I wear men's 8. So I grab some more of the um, gold toe socks. Hey, if they keep putting them out, I'm going to keep buying them. These are also great donation items. So if you see them and you don't need them, but you like to donate, especially come winter time, then... Um, I think those are pretty fantastic for that. Oh, I do have one more thing. I found this. Now, this is a planter. It's ceramic. This is not um, plastic. And I don't know if I can get the back off to show you. Hold on. I'm getting out my X-Acto knife. Ooh, let's not cut my fingers off. We know I have a habit of doing things like that, right? Okay. This is going to be fun. I'm going to put a um, succulent in it, I think, and hang it maybe out. I had it, but I didn't get the right spot. There we go. Okay. This is great. So there's a little hole right here that you would put like a screw, and then it will slide down into the screw and kind of lock in. So you can hang this outside and this is ceramic and you can plant in it. You can put a real plant or a fake one. They had them in black and white, but I just love that it's it's real. You know what I mean? So also it probably would be cool to hang on a wall for a pencil holder. I don't know that you could magnet it up because it's kind of um, heavy, but yeah, you can use it for that type of thing. You can put fake plants in it, real plants. You can put change in it, pens, pencils. I just think it's really neat and it would make a decorative thing on a wall. Right there. I don't know. All right, everybody. Well, that is everything I got this time at the Dollar Tree. I hope they get some newer stuff in soon to my stores. Um, they've been kind of slim pickings, but we all expect that. It's a seasonal change. And, um, you know, with still having issues getting merchandise and staff, it's, you know, it's a rough go. So I'm trying to shop at other places to supplement my videos. So I hope you enjoy and you have a fantastic day. Talk to you later. Bye.